Hey, look. I have it working. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Seven minutes in the morning, you get your daily dose from me. Talk about how to start growing, enjoy the benefits of business ownership. When you get here, when you're watching live on the replay, doesn't matter. Let me know you're here, say hi. But whoever gets here first live, if somebody wants you, drop me a comment, let me know you're here, and let me know what you hear. Because I think it's working right today. But that actually plays into the topic really well. We'll, uh, we'll get to that. Hey, listen, it is Monday, the start of a brand new week. That means we get a brand new opportunity to do things with greatness. <laughs> to do things greatly. Let's see if we can hear it. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're doing good. All right, so um, last week, all month, we've been talking about how to stop letting life happen to you and begin creating the life you crave. Today, I want to talk about... Um, well, you'll see. So last week, is it Friday? I think they were talking Friday, Thursday or Friday. They were talking about, uh, hey, Joe, good morning. They were talking about how, you know, all the snow's coming. got to be prepared. Kids were out of school the whole nine yards. And then, at least here, nada. So what do you do when uh, when plans don't go correctly what do you do when you're the weather person <laughs> you're the weather man and the forecast doesn't pan out you know we're we're pretty quick to pull the trigger on criticizing them for that um and saying oh, yeah, we got you. It's, uh, man kids were out of school and you said it was going to snow or you said there'd be tornadoes or you said blah blah and to be sure i believe there is um some measure of dramatic oversell going on there. But here's the point I want you to take away today. Can they afford to not tell you? No, because that's their job. Even when they get it wrong, their job is to do it again tomorrow. And, you know, wrong is relative in a lot of cases. Sure, it didn't snow here. It snowed somewhere. Snowed in a lot of places, just didn't snow here. Right, so they're calling for it again today. Now how many people are going to listen Listen to heed that admonition today? When you are pursuing an outcome and things don't go exactly the way you want them to, I don't know, let's say maybe you can't get the music to play in your intro or the camera's a little bit wonky this morning. I, honest to goodness, don't know why my head's so big today. Proceed imperfectly. Proceed imperfectly. Do it anyway. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect, you will never execute. You know, we talk about um, complexity being the enemy of execution. I, I think maybe we have it a little bit wrong in that Perfection can be the enemy of execution also. And maybe we've substituted complexity, which, I mean, it works out. I, I encourage everybody to simplify everything down to something that you can knock out in less than a day. But, you know, hey, Rich, good morning. You, you know, one or both of those is the key, right? Simplify the outcome that you're trying to create. And then don't wait to make the conditions perfect. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect, you'll never execute. Proceed imperfectly. If you are if you happen to be the weather forecaster and you didn't get it right yesterday, you still have to do your job today. right? If you're a coach, a consultant, some of your advice didn't pan out, you still have to do it today. If you're a programmer, if you're a photographer, if you're a plumber, whatever happened yesterday is done. You don't get to do it over. It's finished. Stop worrying about it. And don't let that hinder you from proceeding today. It's really easy. 
You know, I've, I've got an upcoming interview with Antonio Centeno, and he talked about, he was a, an aviator in the Navy, and he talked about every time that something went wrong, they updated the manual to add another check in there to make sure it didn't happen again, which is okay as long as running through the checklist doesn't take longer than the flight, right? And it doesn't impede you from the mission. Go, Yeah, I mean, look, we I, I tell you all the time, you have to learn from our past. We have to be informed by our past. But we can't let the possibility of the repeat prevent us from pursuing what we're doing today. Proceed imperfectly. That's the word. Those are the words for today. All right. That And in fact, that's it for today. Going to wrap it up. A little bit shy seven minutes today, but hey, before you go, you get to hear more of this. I'm so, I'm so tickled that I got that. You have no idea. But anyway. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be back here again in the morning. Will I? No, actually I won't. I don't know. But something will be here in the morning. So it might be me. Hey, listen, if uh, if you know somebody, if you, you know, let me back up and say this, if you have something that you can proceed imperfectly with today, let us know what it is. 80% better. Yeah. Yeah, Rich, that's a great one. 80% is better than on time 100%. Then 100% late. So... If you have something you can proceed imperfectly with today, be bold, be brave, and share it with us in the comments. We'll help hold you accountable to that. If you know somebody else that can use this device, like this video, share it with them, put it in their feed. That'll help, that'll help them out. It'll help me out. Everybody be happy. All right. That's really it now. I'll be back tomorrow. You guys take care.